Candace Owens just interviewed Andrew Tate. Yep. Our CEO flew to Romania to interview Andrew Tate. His message seems to be suppressed. He just finally got released from uh, home, um, home arrest. Home arrest. What, what, what do you think is keeping the powers that be afraid of that message that Andrew Tate is bringing out to the world? Yeah, I mean, look, a Andrew is a very smart man, and I'm not gonna get into all the accusations against him. I don't know the truth, or we'll, we'll find out. But I will say this, what he says is so powerful, and let's, let's emphasize on that. What Andrew Tate is doing is he's communicating a warning of what happens when society becomes too feminine. Now, if I offend you with this, good, because honestly, it's the truth, and you need, you need to hear it. So, so, by the way, for the ladies in the audience, I would venture a guess you are underwhelmed by the feminization of American men as it's happening around you. I hear it all the time. So as society can become too feminine, it also can become too masculine, okay? So we know what happens when a society becomes too masculine. You get Mussolini, right? You get too dictatorial, too rigid. That's where you quote unquote get the kind of authoritarianism that we're warned against. But have we ever thought deeply, what happens when a society archetypically becomes too feminine? That's an interesting question, isn't it? Well, all of a sudden you get the complete disregard for rules, customs, and guardrails because you want to accept all things. You get, you get feelings-based societal governance over rationality-based societal governance. It is the man's job in a marriage and a when you raise a child, to say no. That is my job as a father. No, 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 no. We are seeing the American man, porn addicted, lowest testosterone rates in 30 or 40 years, least married, least purpose, most suicidal in history. Why? It's because our society is configured towards collapsing the American man. That's bad for men, it's bad for women, it's bad for our country. And that's, I think, one of the reasons why Andrew Tate has become so unbelievably successful is he does it in an eloquent and charismatic way with a lot of wisdom. But honestly, is Andrew Tate saying anything that 30 years ago would not have been commonplace to say?